you're a long-term gamer or computer user, I'm gonna show you three eye exercises that could actually improve your vision, your eye health, or overall eye comfort. Let's focus in. These first two exercises are usually found in eye doctor's offices where they use them for vision therapy or orthoptic training to help train a patient's eyes to be able to work and team together. And that's where these exercises usually shine in the office, but sometimes they'll give these exercises as homework so the patient can do them at home, help train their eyes even further. The first one is actually designed to help what's called convergence insufficiency. Convergence is the eye's ability to turn in to look at a target that's close up, like the computer screen or your phone. If you have convergence insufficiency, your eyes struggle with keeping that target single, looking at something up close, and that could lead to eye strain, sometimes double vision or blurry vision. So to help train your convergence, you're gonna do a classic at home eye exercise called pencil push-ups. So for this one, you wanna grab a pencil or a pen and you're gonna use the top of the pen or the eraser of the pencil as your target. So again, the goal of this exercise is to strengthen those converging muscles that brings the eyes in to that target. So to start this exercise, you're gonna bring that pencil out at arm's length and remember looking at the eraser of the target and you're gonna slowly bring it closer to your eyes or to your nose. Now you wanna keep that eraser clear and you wanna keep it single. If it goes blurry or splits into two, goes double vision, that's when you stop and you wanna hold it there. You wanna hold it right on the edge of it going blurry or going double and you wanna hold it there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now you wanna repeat this five times. So you're gonna do it five times, holding it there at that edge for five seconds and the goal is to try and get it closer to your nose, closer to your eyes every time that you do it. So by doing this, it's possible to improve and strengthen your converging muscles. So if you're doing a long-term computer use or looking at something up close, there's less likely of a chance that your eyes will fatigue or get tired or get double vision, or that your vision will actually stay clear and not get blurry. Exercise number two focuses on your eye's ability to focus. When you look at a close object like your phone, tablet, or computer screen, you're doing something called accommodation or you're focusing on that object. The muscle groups that converge your eyes and the muscle groups that accommodate or focus your eyes are really closely linked together. So working on an exercise that helps your focusing is really gonna help. The easiest exercise to do at home to help with this is something called a distance near focusing. You're gonna have a target far away, 20 feet away, six meters, something where you can completely relax your focusing muscles, and then a near target. A lot of people just stick their thumb out at arm's length and use their thumb, or you can use the pencil that you just used for the pencil push-ups, and you're gonna alternate your focusing. First starting at your distance, relaxing your muscles, keeping that distance clear for five seconds, and then switch to the near target, making sure that near target is clear and single and hold it for five seconds. This is where you're working on that focusing muscle. And then you're gonna relax again and look far away. You're gonna alternate this five times. But yeah, this will work on your accommodation muscles and a little bit of your convergence muscles and the pencil push-ups will work on your convergence and a little bit of your accommodation as well. So you can kind of see how the two eye exercises are linked to cover both those muscle groups. Now I do want to say really quick that these eye exercises aren't meant to make you less nearsighted or less farsighted. They won't improve your vision that way. That whole concept is for a different discussion for a different video. And bottom line, if you are having eye strain or blurry vision, you definitely wanna get an eye exam by your eye doctor to accurately know what's going on with your eyes. Now this third exercise I think is probably one of the more slept on eye exercises, but probably one of the more important ones that you can do, and that's called blinking exercises. Now when we stare at screens, our blink rate drops by 60%. That causes the surface of our eyes to dry out. They get red and irritated. It can cause blurry vision. It can cause incomplete blinks. So we over time start to blink a lot less and don't blink fully. So we have a little strip in our eyes that gets left to be exposed to the air. Now my recommendation is to do this frequently. A lot of times we tell people to do what's called the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes you take a 20 second break, look 20 feet away. This could be a good opportunity to do blinking exercises in that break. So let me show you how to do a version of some blinking exercises. So during that break, you're gonna look far away and close your eyes, focusing on keeping your eyes fully closed, doing a complete blink. And you're gonna hold it for two seconds and then open. 
Now the next blink, you're gonna close your eyes and you're actually gonna contract your eyelid muscles. Now here's where it's tricky, is you don't wanna use your cheek muscles and your forehead muscles to close your eyelid. You wanna use your eyelid muscles and sometimes you can hold your finger right by your ocular bone, your temporal ocular bone right there and feel your eyelid muscles flex and making sure it's not your cheek and your forehead. But you do a forced eyelid close, one, two, and then open, and then you can do a regular blink, keeping it a complete blink, one, two, open, close, and force blink, one, two, open, close, one, two, and you can repeat that five times. Now this will help tone the eyelid muscles, help you create complete blinks in the future, and hopefully help keep your eyes from drying out and help your overall comfort and your vision. Now to go further into detail, blinking, blinking exercises, the science behind blinking, I did a full video, how to blink, and I definitely recommend checking it out. This will show you why blinking is so important. And I show you some programs that you can get on the computer to help remind you to blink and do these blinking exercises. Super important. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.